Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust talking about the Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the next generations, and everything in between. And yes, you're seeing the title correctly Oil Rig. What's up with that? Confirmed? Not confirmed? Being worked on? Not being worked on? What's going on here? Now, we did do a video on this earlier on in the year, and uh, that still rings true, but I think we've got some extra pieces of uh, evidence here that are uh, pointing in the direction of. Maybe more than the true side. Not totally confirmed, but pretty close, if that makes sense. As far as timing, we still have no idea. I can definitely tell you it's not going to happen this year unless something amazing happens. So I would just say definitely don't count on it this year or even something early next year. But let's, uh, let's, let's take a little dive into it. So recently, depending on when you watch this, we have a new update coming through. It's the Tech Tree update. They're calling it the Devastation Unleashed because it is coupled with the Building Blocks edition. So, uh, yeah, depending on when you see this, um, just know that this rings true when we did test this over on Testing Branch. So, you're probably like, hey, Jade, okay, that's cool, oil rig. So, how do you know this? Like, what's going on? Well, I would say, look no further than the vending machine on Rust Console Edition. Now, I hope this still shows up after the 25th, 2021, uh, for the oil rig. It still does. Like I said, we checked this very recently. But um, if you go to the vending machine list on our version, the console version is no different, you can go there and it sees a, you will see a global list of all items. Now, whether the items are activated for us in-game, um, they can or can't be, but uh, the global list basically resides inside of the vending machine. So even if they're active for us or not, we should still see them if they're in the game for the most part. So, um, and why that's important is because of this bad boy. Wait, do I have it? Is it right? Is right there you are is the grenade launcher and okay you're probably like that's cool but what's that have to do with oil rig well guess what they're synonymous this came in with the oil rig it is a part of that event they are clustered together they're very much related so not only will we get this little guy here which is fantastic but the oil rig as well so you're like okay but still i don't see the connection between the vending machine and the grenade launcher we'll check this out these are recent screen caps from Rust Console Edition, the testing branch, and you can see right here in the vending machine, um, even just before the Devastation Unleashed update, we've got this. The grenade launcher is showing up. It's not in the game, but it is showing up in the vending machine. You can see on the Xbox controller, it's the left thumbstick push-in button. And it goes as far as, here's the actual master list in the vending machine. You can see the right and left triggers. Also, um, not only is that grenade launcher in there, that's the stat sheet for it, but it also has its ammo in there. So, I mean, that's strong evidence to begin with. And again, that's something we covered earlier on in the year. I was like, huh. That's definitely evidence that they've tested it, prototyped it. They're actively still testing it. Uh, I get why they didn't put it in initially uh, with kind of the rocky start with performance with all the platforms. I know it's, it's, it's tough to, to uh, what do you call it, to support so many different platforms on so many different range on hardware. And this game is a monster when it comes to resources. We know this. The Unity engine is not what I would call a performance-based engine. Um, and that's, you know, that's just the, the nature of the engine, right? So I think it's amazing that it still runs on the core hardware now, and it runs better than core hardware uh, on PC 2018. I said it. Um, so it is no small feat that they got it to run. So I get why they maybe turn this off, because this thing is huge, right? I mean, here you go. Here's a little sample right here. Got a little picture. This is actually a camera out on the oil rig. Now, as far as helicopters, for us on the PC, I know we have a hybrid version here. Um, we got, oh, it, yeah, it was oil rig first, and then they trickled in uh, the minicopter. So I don't think they will come in at the same time, but again, since we have a hybrid version, anything goes. So, you know, keep that in mind. Here, all my details are going to pop back in here. So check this out. So, um, well, I guess this is a good time to transition over. So we have those pieces of evidence that are still ringing true, which is very strong. Because if they took them out of the vending machine now, I, it kind of leads me towards like, okay, they are, they're doing something with it. Like they either stopped or they're almost done with it. So this is still actively in there, at least in the testing branch. And I bet you it's in the uh, Devastation Unleashed. But check this out. Uh, straight from the horse's mouth, we had uh, a random sprite say, Pedro, when do you think we'll be getting oil rig? And Pedro is nice enough to say, no ETA but it's being worked on. Bam! So that's like, a confirm is like, yes, and here's a date, but this is the next best thing to confirm. Do you know what I mean? And uh, with all this compelling evidence here, I'd say it's pretty good. So yeah, the oil rig is uh, is fantastic. 
it's going to bring in so much gameplay, uh, so many cool interactions. It's a point of interest on the map. It also can contain a world event, which is a crate drop. It just makes for some wild gameplay. We have another red card monument, uh, another reason to go out in the water, which is a ton of fun. So yeah, the oil rig is definitely going to be a nice addition. Now, uh, since he said no ETA, I get that. Um, I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. We have to really see how this moves through not only the Devastation Unleashed, but our next big jump, which is Power Surge, by the way. If you want to know what that's all about, I do have a Power Surge video. I'd recommend checking it out. I will go ahead and link that now in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, but we kind of have to see how they go from this to Power Surge and then what the next thing on testing branch is going to be and how fast those rotate in. I think we'll have a better idea. So if I were to just ballpark it, I think it's going to happen 2022. Um, I'd say like mid-year-ish, but I'm just going to leave it pretty vague like that because I have no idea, right? Like there's so many different things that go into this that we're not privy to. So, um, But it is nice to know that they are working on it. And as long as we keep seeing this in the game, that's going to be very promising. So there you go. If you found this useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. It does help out tremendously. Uh, myself, Razor2, BioLaser, we will be streaming this on Rust Console Edition. Obviously, when this comes out, um, not only Devastation Unleashed, but all the different sub-patches after that. And, uh, you know, stick around. Stop by the live stream. We might even be live streaming. Uh, be sure to check it out and stop by and say, like, what's up? And say, Oil Rig 2022. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, say say hi. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next live stream slash video. Love you. Bye.